Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Latasha, aka XX Black Sims on Tumblr. Today, I'm about to show you guys how to remesh EA's new curly hair because I really like it and I want to play with it. So, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. I know a lot of people been asking me for tutorials, so finally doing it so yeah here we go so first you want to click 3d mesh in s4s go to cast then go up here click game uh, base game hair uh, adult. I'm gonna go with male. I love making male hairs. Let's see. Where is that hair? Mm -mm -mm. No, that's not it. Oh, here it is. Then you click next course um save it as curls you can save it as whatever I just put curls so this is the hair so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna go to mesh, export mesh, and I'm gonna save this as curly hair base. Okay. Okay. Now I have my base. I'm not going to use him. So I'm going to go back in S4S. So we're going to click out of that. Go back to S4S. Go to main menu. Go back to create 3D cast. And then. Dot. Mail. And I like to use the fade. I like using the fade, no mesh on top for me. And I'll say this as fade. So here's the fade. Again with this one, export mesh. Uh, I'm gonna say this one is curly hair remesh. Save. Click on that. Now this is not gonna be perfect. I'm just showing y'all how to remesh some stuff. Um, but you can remesh whatever you would like. This is just for people who want to know a little bit about Blender or who know how to use Blender a little bit but don't know how to but don't know how to um, really do nothing like make hair or anything I'm going to go to texture make sure you go to game logic it's the best thing to work on up here then as you can see, because I had the fade, there's no mesh at the top. So then we're going to go to a pin. Then we're going to go to curly hair base because that was that was the other hair we saved. We're going to click that. Go to object. I don't know which one it is. I'm just going to grab all three. Delete this. So... You don't 
don't need all of these. So you, I'm gonna delete this one. This one, don't need that. So there it is right there. Now what I wanna do is basically um, turn this hair into another hairstyle. Let me press tab first tab or you can hit edit mode press a to deselect and then press L well press L now you probably don't have to do this but I'm doing it because you know I don't like the edges in there press L press L take out the vertices make sure when you're trying to take out the vertices you click on these dots right here or whatever you're trying to take out okay if you accidentally click something that you didn't want to click make sure you press Control C Control Z Control Z Control Z So, object mode. Okay, my bad. My husband just interrupted me. I'm sorry. I'm a little off track now. So anyway, now where was I? So yeah, I deleted the vertices because I don't like the hairline and the hair. I want to make a curly high top, but yeah. You know, this is too big. And plus, I want the hairline to show. So what I'm going to do is press S. <laughs> See, this is this is what I go through making custom content. It's, it's a mess, y'all. It's a mess. The struggle is real. So. So, yeah. I scaled it down and it looks crazy. So. <laughs> so go to <coughs> excuse me go to sculpt mode and then when you go to sculpt mode press G G then press F there you go alright so I'm gonna basically all you gotta do is pull this out Little, little bit and I know this look crazy but like I said it ain't really supposed to look good cause it's you know it's a little quick it's a, something a little quick it ain't really supposed to look amazing but I just want to show y'all how to do some basic stuff for right now and then I'll probably get into some more stuff after. But for right now, I just want to show y'all how to remesh, you know, a EA, um, a EA, uh, <laughs> hair. So, just gonna keep doing that. Just keep pulling it out, I guess, until you like it. Whatever. Like I said, this ain't that serious for me. But, I don't know. It's alright, but, yeah. Whatever. I'll probably show y'all how, how to do some dreads next time. Okay, so it's up and it's not much different, it's a little different. 
of course, we're going to change the color to black. That's another thing. You got a UV map. So, go up here. Go to UV editing. Go to... <clears throat> edit go to edit go to texture so now if you click a you can see it's already been UV mapped out because it's already done boom 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 okay guys so we're back to this hair so as you can see I um I made it smaller on here but the only reason why we have to come back here is because we need the texture so what you're gonna do what you're gonna do is export the texture and I'm just gonna say this as a uh, curly fade <laughs> texture Press save. So now we got the EA texture. If you have Photoshop, go into Photoshop. I already got some stuff on in here. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use whatever editing program. So, okay, so now I'm in Photoshop, you guys. Now I'm gonna open Curly Fade. Okay, you guys, so um, now I have the EA texture open. Now I'm going to go to curves and I'm going to make it darker. Well, you can make it black. If you want the texture to stay in it, which I do, I make it dark, but then I also make it black and white. So I make it black and white. And now as you can see, the texture is still there, but it looks more alpha with the black and white on it. So then I save it. Save. Okay. Okay, you guys. So now, change the color. So you don't have to worry about this. Because once you um, upload your image in Sims 4 Studio, this is this texture is not going to matter. So, I kind of, I like how this looks. I guess. Well, not really, but for the video, it's okay. So, um, now, I go to default. I change the cut right here this is important to zero keep it on G keep it on G-E-O-M and yeah it's a little lopsided but you know it'll work <laughs> it'll work for the video so yeah let me pull that up a little bit though with the sculpt tool no. All right, be a little bedazzled. Got those little curls going on. Pretty boy stuff. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's it. That's it. Make sure that's right. Cause a lot of people, for real, for real, like in Sims 4 tutorials, they don't tell you that you need this to be <laughs> right, or your stuff is not gonna upload. <laughs> upload in Sims 4 Studio, it took me forever. Like even when I knew how to make a mesh, I still couldn't get in Sims 4 Studio, cause nobody told me I had to get this right. So, 
telling you guys make sure this is right so yeah he look cute i'm going to say this Uh, yeah, save his curly hair, remesh, you can save yours, whatever you want to, doesn't matter, really. Okay, you guys, so now we're back, we're back in, um, S4S, and all we gotta do is upload our mesh now. So, let's go to the mesh we saved curly hair remish <laughs> um, as you can see it's looking a little crazy a little crazy crazy but that's only because we haven't put our texture in that's why it's looking crazy so it's gonna look crazy because we gotta put um the texture that we saved before now it's time for you to import it so you import it here let's click on that i saved mine as curly i saved mine as curly fade texture boom oh don't get that don't get that bottom part <laughs> That bottom part looking kind of crazy though. <laughs> like I said, you know, this ain't, this, it ain't that bad though. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? I probably could find this. I, I, I could do something with this if I was serious with it. For real. I might fix that. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if y'all want me to fix it. I'll give it to y'all. I hope you guys liked the video. Hope, hope, hopefully it helped some of you. Um, this is my husband's page so this is my husband's youtube page so if you want to su subscribe to him feel free you know because i'll be releasing harris on youtube from now on most likely i will be releasing harris from now on on youtube actually so and some may have a tutorial with them some may not this is it so you know you can save it make sure you you know get you a little thumbnail so peace out you guys